everybody, Kitsune Haruri here and welcome to my channel. Today I've got the beginning of a brand new project that happened to come about because I found something along the side of the road. Stay tuned and watch what we're doing. Okay, so I found this along the side of the road as I was coming home from work the other day. This is a rather large bird cage and no, I'm not going to be putting any birds in it because I don't have the time, nor do I wish to put forth the effort to raise one, though I do think they're rather cute. Don't worry, bird owners, I'm not dissing you. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is get this cleaned up and add it to my hummingbird garden as a part of the decoration. So the base of this bird cage actually has a sticker saying where it's from. If you'll allow me to turn this upside down here and try and get it in focus. I can't really, but the brand is Furplast, and it's from Castle Gamberto, Italy. So, this is an uh, Italian bird cage. I don't know if that means it's more expensive or what, but it's a pretty good size bird cage. Um, almost chest high to me, not quite, but almost there. Full steel has bells and things still in it, which I believe I'm going to leave all those pieces in. Um, that perch, it depends on how well it cleans up. But before I can do anything, the very first thing I'm going to do is clean it up, at least give it a good hose down. And my plan is to get it spray painted and then I'm probably going to add some things to the inside before placing it in the hummingbird garden out behind the back pine tree and well let's just get started on that and we'll see how it turns out
All right, so that took most of the dirt off of it. Just basically a hosing down. I used a wire brush for the really tough stuff. Uh, actually, a wire grill brush because it also has the wire scrapers on them. Some of the nasty, dirty stuff is rust, and some of it is stain permanent, which is okay because I'm going to be painting it anyway. Also, you probably noticed on the bottom of this, not everything came off. That, again, is not a big problem because that's going to be the underside. No one's ever going to see it, and it is an outdoor item, not an indoor. Now, if you're going to have it indoors, you're going to want to get it really, really scrubbed clean. But in this case, it's probably going to get as much mud flipped back up onto it as I have scrubbed off. So I'm going to leave this to dry now, and we'll come back when it is time to do some painting. All right, see you then. All right, everybody, I'm back. And after having done the cleanup on this, I've decided there's only a couple of things that really actually need to be painted. The wires themselves look pretty good. I'm going to leave them as they are. I think they'll hold up pretty good by themselves in the weather. But this plastic needs to be painted. These plastic pieces, the ring, and also the perch. So I'm going to go ahead and get those painted, and let me show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be using is Krylon Fusion for plastic. It doesn't really matter what color I'm using. I'm using this mostly as a primer because this type of plastic does not like to take paint and this will melt its way into it. Now some plastics you can't use this on, but this I think should be okay. Once that first layer is dry, I'm going to switch over to my actual color, which I am still using Rust-Oleum. Not sponsored by the way, it's just what I like to use. I'm using hammered silver because I really, really wanted this to be silver all over. This is what I'm going to finish it up with. There's going to be several layers, so I'm going to show you a few layers of what I'm doing there. All right, starting out, just a few light passes. Let's hope this thing ain't clogged. Okay, maybe clogged. And for those who didn't know, this is how I also use up my last remnants of a paint can. So anyway, once this dries, we'll be back and we'll start hitting it with some color. Okay, this has had its first ch uh, chance for its first layer to dry, so it's time to add on the first layer of color. Yes, my head is cut off, but this is what you need to see so it doesn't matter. So here goes the first layer of color. More than likely, I'm going to let this dry overnight. And we'll come back and do further layers in the next couple of days. Uh, it may be up to... Oops, went around. <laughs> it may be uh, up to two, three, maybe even as far as five coats. It really depends on what you're painting, on what it's really going to need. I'm going to guess, hopefully, only three coats for this, but I do have two cans. So here we go.
Okay, so that first coat's looking really good there. Um, I'm going to say probably definitely three coats for this one. Now I'm going to go on and get some coats on to the bits and pieces. Okay, so painting is done. I did roughly three coats of paint, including the underlayment, so to speak, and that's being left to dry for the moment. So next comes reassembly and decorating of the top. Now the place that I'm going to be putting these at is not ready yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get this assembled and ready so that when I have a space for it, it's going to be able to go right in. Otherwise, it'll wait. It's not going anywhere. So. Stay with me, and in just a few moments, I will show you the decorated photos. Alright, now all of the greenery and decoration has been added on, so this is ready to go into its space as soon as the space is ready. There will be an additional centerpiece added to this, but that's going to be shown on another video because that's not ready yet. Anyway, this has been a very simple project, a little bit of paint, a little greenery, and some beads and I've taken an old bird cage and made it ready for the garden where if I really wanted to I could plant inside of it or which I am planning to do I'm going to just use it as a decorative feature. Don't be afraid to try out new items in your garden. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be made for the garden to make good decorations. And again guys thank you for watching. This has been Kitsune Haruri and please take a chance to like subscribe and share this video and if you would like visit my Patreon, my Etsy, or visit me on Tumblr or Facebook. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.